I'm Jimmy Lewis with Dirt Bike Test and today I'm going to explain a recluse clutch and tell you a little bit about it so you can tune it if you decide to. So essentially this is the heart of the recluse clutch. This is the EXP disc and this one's been disassembled and in fact it's actually a really simple piece. Here is a fully assembled EXP disc and this is the heart of what the recluse clutch is built from and what it's made of is essentially it's these they're almost like friction discs but they're on an expanding platform and they grip just like a normal clutch plate and they're built with wedges and these are typically different weights and they ride on little ramps so this surface here rides on these little ramps inside of here so it goes like this and basically just slides back and forth and then this whole unit is compressed together by these springs so these springs are in here and it's held together with these little pins and fasteners there and all of a sudden you have this clutch plate that can expand as necessary. So what I'm going to do is show you how simple this is. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this particular one which is out of a bike that we have that has a lot of hours on it and it's actually um, quite worn. One of the wear parts on this clutch is on these ramps, these little Teflon pads. Uh, those need to be replaced on this one and then also on these plates inside of right here on these wedges there's wear marks and so right now I need to replace the Teflon pads and then these two plates on this one and it literally has about 500 hours on it so it's had a, it's had a long life so I put the wedges back in place next I'm gonna assemble the discs and then on each side there are three of these fasteners with the springs they go in like that and you can see it has a little T on it that holds it in place so what I do and you simply find it goes down like this in and it's a quarter turn quick connect so like that like this so you put it in like that turn it like so in, turn it like so, then you flip it over and do the other side. So there's ways to tune this recluse clutch and there's two main ways to tune it. Uh, the first is with different springs. So recluse has um, a number of different springs and in their manual they always give you a couple of uh, tuning setting, settings. They call one soft or early engagement. Uh, there's then their standard which is medium and then there's uh, a more aggressive engagement which means it waits longer to engage and that's usually uh, by using essentially a uh, stiffer spring. So here's how the recluse clutch works. As this disc is spinning in the clutch pack the inertia and the weight starts forcing these wedges out and as you can see it expands so in this one like I said this needs to be rebuilt and you see how sticky it is this one's a brand new one out of one of the new Hondas that we've been testing and you can see how smooth that slides and that's essentially and it does all of them and this disc expands and that's what's modulating your clutch pack um, the reason it works is because it doesn't care about anything it doesn't like your hand it's not reacting to something what this is doing is at a certain RPM a certain speed no matter what it's going to expand and compress the clutch so when your motor starts bogging down these wedges go in the clutch starts to slip you start accelerating the wedges go out and they they start expanding so that's this is the heart of the of the um, recluse clutch system this is called the EXP disc and the tuning factors like I say are the springs so when you change the springs which is as simple as taking this out like this 
And then this is te technically a blue spring, and then you can change it to the different colors based on their chart and what you need. And you go around, and sometimes you only replace half of them on one side, sometimes you replace all of them. It just really depends on the setting chart and what you're trying to accomplish. And in my experience, when you are changing the springs, that really changes the speed that the clutch is spinning at where it engages. So when you want uh, it to engage at a lower RPM, you would go to a lighter spring, which allows it to expand sooner. And so in, essentially it engages a lower RPM. If you want it to engage at a later RPM, you go to a heavier spring and then it waits longer to engage at a higher RPM. So the other, so the, the, the advantage of, you can get like a more aggressive feel when you, when you use the heavier springs and it also, uh, you know, waits longer. But the downside of that is that sometimes when you're using your brake, it disengages sooner. So it freewheels sooner. And that, so it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, some people want a more, they want it to wait longer, slip longer, or wait longer to engage. So the bike has more power, typically on the smaller bike. Sometimes they want them to engage a little bit later so it doesn't bog the bike down. So that's what the springs do. It changes the RPM at which the clutch engages. The other thing that you can change is these wedges. So by going to a heavier wedge, and they make heavier and lighter ones, it really depends on which model and what they have available, but they're, they're marked um, they have numbers and letters on them so you know which ones they are, what weight they are. And when you go to a lighter wedge, it's a softer engagement in my experience. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it bites as hard and it also releases a, a lot quicker. Um, when the RPMs come down, it seems like on the lighter ones, the clutch is a little bit more, it's a little quicker, like you're snapping it a little um, faster with your finger. When you go to heavier wedges, that typically has um, a more, it has a more bitey, um, is the only way to describe it, a, a more bitey kind of feel when they engage. And then it also seems like it stays engaged longer and so, sort of comes, the engagement comes off slower, which um, is, eh, I think it's a little more of a trail riding setting. I would, I would suspect that if I were setting one up for uh, motocross, I would want the lighter, the more light wedges um, because it'll slip a little bit better, it'll give you a little bit better of a roll on, but then when you decide to shut off, it those things kind of close down, where the heavier ones maybe are a little bit too lazy on the, on the deceleration. So it's something that you really have to decide what, you, what you're feeling. Generally, Recluse does a good job with putting the right wedges in the, in the, um, in the clutch, but if you're looking for a little additional tuning, and it does make it so you can get any kind of feel that you're really looking for. And that's what this EXP disc does, is by using the wedges and the springs, it's really simple to get a lot of different options. So my favorite setting is I tend to run the lightest springs that they recommend, sometimes even lighter, and then the heaviest wedges I can get um, in there. And on the smaller displacement bikes, sometimes I, I like to have the, the, a mix of a kind of a more medium spring with the heavy wedges, uh, but some people feel like the bikes just don't have the, the snap. They kind of, they lose a little bit of the um, snap they kind of get. So Recluse has a couple different options when it comes to the clutch setups. And they have what they call, you know, they have the Core EXP, there's Radius X, and then there's Radius CX, and I'll explain these as simple as I can. Um, you can look at their website and see what they have. So everything is based around this. Um, one other thing that Recluse does is they have what they call torque drive clutch plates. And these are their own proprietary clutch plates. They're made out of a much thinner um, material and compared to a standard clutch plate. So when you look at the width, it's uh, even a little bit more, less than half of the width. So what they do is they stack more of these plates into the same clutch basket area, or you get the same amount of plates while still using this thick EXP disc. So you have the same friction surface in there. So 
Um, some options will allow you to use the EXP disc, your clutch plates, and most of the time Recluse will bring in their own clutch springs that hold the clutch at a different tension um, to make everything work properly. So that's on the core EXP setup, that's what you'll see. Um, when you move up to what they call the Radius X, then you get a full pack of their clutch plates matched with the EXP disc and then, then they'll have a certain spring setup that works in conjunction with all of this. So you're, you're kind of um, getting a little bit better friction or something where they feel that you know with the more plates in there working with the EXP disc you're in a better place using that. So that's Radius X. And that on a cable bike uh, makes it so the clutch feels like the cable's always tight. Okay, you don't really have the kind of the modulation and the, and the free play that you would normally work. And the clutch doesn't actually work like it normally does. On a hydraulic clutch bike, um, because of the way that the, 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 the hydraulic clutch self um, regulates, you don't have that kind of a problem. But then when you go to Radius CX, which is their top of the line thing, um, then you're using an entire basket, a proprietary basket that they have that's a really trick piece. Um, you're starting to use a different uh, metal plate that indexes into, so you're, they're using their own, not only frictions, but they're using their, their own drive plates and then whatever springs they determine for the right spring rate. But the big, the big thing here is you have an adjustable ring inside of here that actually stops the clutch, it holds the clutch open so it's not constantly compressed. So the lever, you don't use your cable as your adjustment for the, the free play gain, um, essentially. This is what sets that. And it's, it's a little bit tricky um, to set for some people. For other people, it's really simple. Um, there's, a, there's a pin that you, that you set and you do a certain amount of spins. It's kind of stuff you're familiar with if you've done it with the hydraulic one or uh, whatever, but it's very well explained in their manual and they also have really good online videos as well that goes through the exact setup how they want you to set up that clutch. So the, the Radius CX is kind of top of the line for the cable things, but it really all centers around this EXP disc, which is a very simple thing, just highly engineered and um, you know tuned uh, you know, years of learning. I remember when these used to have ball bearings on them and the original uh, Recluse was based on a big giant top plate that had ball bearings that ran out. So stuff's really come quite a long ways in the short period of time. Uh, and if you haven't run one, um, for sure everybody says, yeah, they're for old guys or they're for people who don't know how to use the clutch and um, they definitely work for that. But I use them on all of my personal bikes because they work so good I don't have to actually use anything with the clutch. It does it all by itself. So um, we have a nice tech tuning um, section on dirt bike test where we talk in detail. We wrote about all this stuff but hopefully this video kind of gives an explanation and if you have any questions for sure leave them in the comments and we'll see you out on the trail.